Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. First, we're going to go ahead and do an update on Foodie. We're going to talk about her new glow up arc and I am super excited. I love when she does these. Is this a new era? And then as we wrap things up on the old era, a little birdie told me that Natter is going to be in Gatno tomorrow. What's that all about? I'll tell you guys all about it. All that and more coming up on today's edition of Girl Talk. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? All right, you guys. So I wanted to start off the video by doing an update on Foodie's community tab. She tells us about this new arc that she is starting. This is the post Natter era. And here's what she has to say. Going forward, we are entering glow up season. Yes, be prepared for Eurobees. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. August 3rd to September 1st, 2022. Hi, Beezers. It's an exciting time to be a Beezer. Today, I am finally putting my new arc into play, the glow up arc for travel beezing in the future. So I realized that the first step was making a daily routine and consistently sticking to it for long enough for it to become a daily routine of good habits. Every day, I will do this for 30 days and you will join me. I am starting this tomorrow only because today I need to finish preparing for this new routine and lifestyle. I am doing massive amounts of laundry and other planning. So I was just wondering the other day if Chantal was still running her scam. I mean, her VIB postcard club. Has any of those VIBs ever gotten a postcard? Now she's promising even more. The glow up arc for the travel bees is in the future. Will this glow up arc actually come to fruition? I'm not holding my breath. I'm holding my nose because this stinks. Okay, so the glow up arc schedule is as follows. I'm not sure why she put it in this format. She should have just said, this is my schedule every day. But I do kind of like the graphics. It's giving 90s like Becky vibes, honestly. <laughs> Come through Bex. Okay, Monday. Um, here is the schedule. 6.30 to 8.30 a.m. Daily morning glow up routine. So what exactly is that? Is she going to be, you know, getting herself ready? Is she going to be doing exercises? What's going on? 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Daily 5K steps, walk outdoors. Okay, that's good if she actually does it, right? This is every day. So you're telling me that she's going to walk outdoors for three hours? That doesn't even make sense. I mean, surely there is some Starbucks and maybe a fast food mukbang in between, right? 5.30 to 8 p.m. is going to be her dinner stream where she is going to be cooking and eating. I don't even think she's going to be able to keep this one up. Our girl loves to get the takeout. There's no way she's doing a cooking show every single day. She's just setting herself up for failure with this one. 9.30 to 10.30 will be her Twitch stream watch party. Okay, even that one doesn't make sense. Like, what is she going to be watching? I guess that would make sense if they're watching an episode or how does that work? Do you get to watch things on Prime Video? The last time she had a watch party, actually, I tried to get in, but since she is using Canadian Prime, I don't think it wanted any Americans to watch, but I don't know how that works and I have Prime, so I don't really see that working out either. Yikes on bikes. So technically speaking, I am super excited for this new arc. Last night's video that she put out, actually, I was not super excited for. She was sitting at her dining room counter, as she usually does, and she was sulking about Natter. I heal, like, my heart, because I have to, like, slowly watch this person Just meet their karma, you know? And the part, the little part in my heart that loved him. What was bigger is not really, not really there anymore at all. But that little part, I hate to even say it. It's really hard to watch it happen. So, yeah.
Speaking of karma, I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware by now that Natter has his court date tomorrow. This screenshot has been floating around the community, but I specifically got it from Mary Cab. <sighs> It looks like he is going to be seen tomorrow, August 3rd, at 9 o'clock in the morning in Gatineau. So, will he be live streaming from there? Is anyone in the area? Does anyone want to be our eyes and ears? Can you get a picture of him going in? Adder wants people to believe that it's not happening at all. So, take all of this with a grain of salt. It's all a legend. This whole situation over the past year has gotten so messy. I don't know which way this is going to go. I don't want to put any negative energy out there because seeing him get his just desserts would be so satisfying to all the people in this community. One thing to keep in mind is that I believe that this is specifically about the May case, so keep that in mind. Something strange, though, is that he hasn't been seen since July 31st on his main channel when he came on to do one of his typical cooking shows. I haven't heard a peep out of either one of them since, which is strange because they live stream every single day. It would be like if Chantal wasn't seen for 24 hours. People would wonder what she was up to, and that's what happens. She is on live right now cooking and raging about filters. I guess this is her last day to live it up. How about fast food funeral number two? I do think that it is possible that Foodie is scrambling. She did notice that her views took quite the nosedive recently. Maybe this schedule is some sort of last ditch effort, a desperate attempt to get those viewers back that she lost because of all the drama and all the negativity that she has been so focused on this past year. There were people that were subscribers to her channel when she was doing much bangs a lot of those people are gone there were people that came along for the health journey arc and most of the people that are still there are just either diehard fans like her vibs or people that are invested in this drama although a lot of people that like the drama do stick to reaction channels so i think that she is really feeling the heat i did see on r slash foodie beauty that her views have actually dipped below a million i know now that amber took back her crown she is sitting pretty above a million on her social blade. And there's also the possibility that she is running low on funds. I mean, we are at the beginning of the month. It's a long way till payday. And the pace of her videos are kind of slowing down these past couple of days. No more trips to Montreal. So it just makes you wonder, is that the reason for this glow up arc? Is she trying to win people back? Is this another scheme to make money? Is she actually going to go through with the travel bees in the end anyway? I don't see her walking for three hours. She just admitted on her live stream that this schedule is a bit aggressive, so she's possibly already getting us ready for the eminent demise. <laughs> this is great, though. This is classic foodie beauty, and I'm just along for the ride. All right, you guys, it's our favorite time of the day, and that is, of course, comment of the day. Today's comment comes in from yesterday's Girl Talk video. Thank you guys so much for watching that one. This comes in from Haley Martian, who says, the following. We obviously don't get to see every aspect of their lives, but Becky was always super supportive of ALR and literally helped her wash herself when she couldn't do it herself. So I always think of this when Amber Lynn is coming for Becky or throwing subtle shade. It's like Becky was there when she needed her the most. She needs to remember that. Even though they didn't work out and weren't meant to be together, Becky obviously loved and cared about Amber enough to help her and be there for her in her darkest moments of her life so far. Yeah, she was miserable in that house, right? And Becky was going through so much as well. I just think that the vibes were off. It doesn't mean you have to be best friends or even keep in touch, but if I were Amber, I don't think I could ever speak bad about Becky and I would always be grateful to her. She doesn't owe Becky anything because Becky did those things out of kindness of her own heart, but I would think she would have a little bit more respect for Becky as a person and as well as helping Amber in that way, Becky has actually stayed pretty tight lipped. She has let a couple things slip, but I'm sure that she knows so much more and she has not gone down that path of exposing Amber on the YouTubes, despite how many people continue to pressure her to do so. She has kept her lips sealed, I'm sure, about a lot of stuff that we don't know. So I also wonder if anything happened behind the 
scenes between Becky and Amber or if it was just these public social media posts. Becky was always telling a different story in her comment section versus what Amber was saying. Amber wanted us to think that everything was cordial. Are we missing a piece of the puzzle, girls? All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you made it this far, make sure to leave a like on the video. What did you think about Foodie Beauty's glow up arc and the situation with Natter? I need to go look at Amberlynn's Instagram Q&A. All right, I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.